Wow, what an amazing day guys. Beautiful weather. We're touring around Chechen today and starting off here in Urimji, a reservoir that the city folks can walk around and exercise and get some fresh air. But today we will be celebrating Chechen City, one of the most underrated cities in Chungcheong province. We're going to be having a gastronomic tour that's going to allow us to taste the cuisines around here until our stomachs burst and then we're going to be sightseeing some more scenic locations around Chungpung Lake, an amazing big lake around here that is even more scenic than what you're seeing today. But I really got to say I'm pumped, excited for today because I'm already liking just this minor stop that we're doing to fill in some time. All right guys, now we're in the heart of Chechen city and we're gonna be experiencing what they call the gastro tour. We're gonna be eating a bunch of food. They have this available for you guys to partake in as well. It's less than $20 and it's gonna take about two hours. And our guide here tells me we'll be full at the end of it, guaranteed. You can reach the list soy sauce on the table. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, we're at the first restaurant and we're starting out heavy with white flour rice. There's just a lot going on here and I'm already concerned about hitting up the other four spots without having the stomach burst open. So we're supposed to mix this simply with this special concoction of soy sauce. But Jex over there is gonna do her usual thing with the... Yeah, the aroma, it's just the nuttiness. Yes, ar aromatico. Aromatico. Yes, yeah, see, see, see. It uh, permeates though in my mouth. <laughs> okay, my attempt to pace myself has just completely gone out the window because this is so delicious. I, I can't believe soy sauce tastes this good. But there's just so much going on here and the veggies there, it adds so much richness to this concoction. Oh, jalapeno peppers. Step aside. This is so rich. We're heading out to the next restaurant, but included in this tour, they also give you a $5 gift certificate that you could use here in Chechon. I'm really suspect that how they're going to be able to make a profit out of a 19,001 tour. <laughs> <laughs> really hitting the spot refreshing buckwheat so it's healthy for you as well gonna definitely help me digest a lot of the food that I'm gonna be eating today all right guys sorry for unceremoniously ending that last restaurant but we have to move on we're at the third location it's sand time for sandwiches, Korean style. Oh! Alright, so they got two different kinds of sandwiches. This is the more salad-y, lettuce -y one. This is as close to a BLT as you can get here in Korea. But it does have a more sweeter flavor. By the way, they also provide drinks. They got a latte here. You guys know I don't really drink coffee, so I'm getting some tomato juice in here. Really lovely. So what does my uh, Jewish friend think of these sandwiches? Are they an abomination or are they great? If you keep kosher, it's probably an abomination. <laughs> if you don't keep kosher, mm. they were good. Oh, they're quite good, huh? Oh, oh wow, surprise, you like them. I'm also surprised. Yeah, I think they have strawberry jam in the sandwich. <laughs> and what does my Latina friend think? Yeah. If it tastes good, it's good. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you feel me? Oh, I also have to say, all of the owners were super friendly and they even speak English to some degree. Still not done with the tour, but I could definitely tell you the value is well worth it even at this point. Oh, what is this? So before we even finish the latte, we are now going to be trying some Techu. jujube or jujube fruit tea along with some traditional rice cakes here. 
I thought it would be overpoweringly sweet, but it's really thick and rich. Even has a bit of bitterness in there. I think it will complement this rice cake, which I am gonna assume is sweet. It's actually very herbally. Finally! <laughs> She's been actually trying to cut this whole thing. I highly recommend you just stick a fork in here and then you bite off of it because it's super chewy. All right, a little pro tip. You could actually ask for it to go. And this is what you probably want to do because we still got one more place left to go, guys. Guys, I also have to really mention that this tour is a nice tour of Chechen City Center. So you're getting a nice scenic tour along with the gastro tour that show the good folks of Chechen City going about doing their everyday things. All right, we're at the final stop of our gastric tour where we're gonna have some red spicy sauce on fish cakes. What, what, what is the name? All right guys, here I am back in Chongpung Lake and here we will go on the cable car ride I've been looking forward to. But I do want to remind you that I've done many other moto camping vlogs around this area where I covered a lot of these scenes that are pictured here in their photo contest. Chengpung and Chechen is just a beautiful area. This is a really scenic bridge that you can see by hiking up and the lake being all windy and curvy create these alligator like things coming out which is iconic of Chengpeng Lake Alright! Mia here is afraid of heights <laughs> I, wanna see her I made a very good choice, I made a move! I went so away! <laughs> Guys, this is the biggest cable car I've ever been on and I've been on a lot and the big cabin allows you to see more because the windows are so much bigger. They say Chechen just developed these and it's only two years old and it's actually one of the more affordable cable cars out there. It costs a little less than 15,000 won and you can package it with our VR or a trick eye kind of experience as well for a little more. They say the total ride will be about 10 minutes and you'll want those full 10 minutes to take these selfies right here with this amazing view. You don't even realize what a <laughs> lifetime experience this will be. Okay, oh, this view is really, really getting even better. Wow guys, the view from up here is fantastic. I highly recommend that you come up here. It definitely is underrated. I avoided it and thinking there's not much. But it's one thing seeing it on a drone and uh, actually coming up here to experience it. This is also a very famous mountain, Pibongsan. And uh, there's trekking courses from here as well that take you further around these very scenic routes. And uh, getting on that cable car is definitely going to save you some time. Alright guys, so we're here at the Chengpeng Cultural Heritage Center. I've actually been here twice before and never been inside because I haven't had the time. So I'm really excited to see what it's all about. Oh, this is a uh, authentic Hanok house over here. They say this is 150 years old. Yeah. That's a kitchen right there. Heating that Heating will probably the, uh, heat yeah. up the floors as well. Yeah. Heating system. Wow. You can see because it's sort of in the southern area, it's not a square but an L shape Hanok. It's interesting to see that they have additional stoves everywhere. I guess there's no point wasting energy. That's very clever. So you could just cook something on there when you're gonna heat up the floors individually in these other rooms or you can just choose to save the fuel and cook in the main kitchen and heat up only that floor <laughs> it's fun they have some traditional games here
Well, guys, I gotta say this place is beautiful. I mean, I've, I've flown a drone over it. I sort of knew what to expect, but inside there are just so many little details. All of the cultural assets were well preserved. They're authentic, centuries old. That Buddha statue is like a thousand years old from the 10th century. But you know, there's this calm ambiance. It's not touristy, but to sum it up, Chechon in general isn't very touristy. They're just starting to market for tourism to foreigners. And I just found out that this whole city tour that we did, excluding the gastro tour, because that's an additional tour, is only about 20 to less than $25. I mean, just the cable car alone is about $15, but they provide you transport right from the Chechen rail station. Obviously, there's a lot of places in Korea that you can visit, but just considering how easy it is to get here in Chechen through the KTX, as well as these program tours that the city is sponsoring at their cost to promote tourism in Chechen. I think this should be one of the places that you put on top of your list if you're new to Korea. And it will help you sort of see the beauty of the Korean countryside and maybe have you fall in love with Korea all over again like I did when I was driving through these countrysides and scenic areas. I'm really, really grateful to the hospitality and the people of the city of Chechon for showing me these great sites and helping me share these experiences with you. I hope it was interesting to you guys as well. Let me know in the comments below what you think. All right, anyways, that's the end of the trip. I'm just gonna wrap it up here. Uh, be sure to check out this girl's YouTube channel, Jex Koreana. Uh -huh. I think I'll be going on another trip with her, so yeah. maybe it won't be the end of this Latina. See you next time, guys! Yes. Adios! Adiosito! Bye bye! <laughs>